Yes, Hans Gustav Junggren, professor in infectious diseases. Why is this prize, the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 2011, gone to these three gentlemen? Well, they have in common that they all have done fantastic discoveries, discoveries regarding the activation of the immune system. Okay. And those were the most, uh, the most uh, excellent you could find this year. Absolutely. We are certainly confident that these are three absolutely outstanding candidates for a prize. Okay. The immune system, of course, is working here and now for all of us, for you and for me. And luckily, it usually works, so we don't get uh, different bacteria or viruses. But uh, how does it work? Well, the immune cells uh, in the body have sensors for foreign microorganisms. Uh -huh. Those sensors can be recognized by microorganisms. Uh, two of the prize winners here, Hoffman and Beutle, discovered what those sensors are. Then, in order to uh, kick on a strong immune response, we need to activate what we call the adaptive immune defense. Uh, and um, Ralph Steinman discovered really what kicked on that active immune response. It's via interactions with so-called dendritic cells. Okay. So we have sort of two lines of defense system when it comes to defend us about what you talked uh, during the, the presentation being a very dangerous world. Certainly we have two lines. We have a, a first immediate line that protects us and actually clears us from most pathogens. But sometimes pathogens can invade our body and we need to mobilize a stronger defense. That's a second defense. So this is a really evolution at work. I mean, the, the bacteria are trying to get around our immune system and the immune system is trying to work against them. Exactly, that is what it is. And uh, you mentioned the word evolution. Yeah. It's amazing that we have kept our immune system for more than 600 million years. Yeah. Hoffman discovered the immune system in flies. Amazingly, the same type of system operates in us, in you and me. Yeah, I, I got it that it's the same gene actually that works in, in fruit flies and in us. Uh, yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a very similar gene, uh, which indeed to us means that something is important. If something is conserved throughout evolution, it's probably very important. So it's easy to understand why they have got uh, the prize. I mean, the immune system is life supporting for all of us, but sometimes it works the wrong way and then it can cause a lot of uh, very common diseases. It does indeed, and uh, this is a problem. First of all, in some humans, some individuals, the immune system does not work. Those get more infections than other people. But sometimes the, bub the bubble children. The, the yes, that's the most extreme. Yeah part. Um, then there are situations where the immune system overreacts and what is dangerous is when the immune system starts to react against our own tissues, our own body. And it's like a friendly fire in war. It starts shooting your own cells. Yes, you could say so. Okay. And what happens then? What kind of diseases are we talking about then? Well, the immune system's primary role is to protect us against infectious diseases, yeah. but it can also protect us against some forms of cancer. Um, then, when the immune system is not working, we may get various types of inflammatory uh, diseases. We now know that diseases such as type 1 diabetes, as inflammatory bowel disease, as rheumatoid arthritis, as multiple sclerosis, relates to uh, inappropriate uh, function of the immune system. So you are hoping that in the future we can get some medicine or some form of a cure that will sort of uh, slow down our own immune system and don't attack us, our own system, so to speak. The, the beauty with the, the discoveries made by this year's laureates is the fact that they have discovered molecules and cells which can be manipulated just with that purpose yeah. to uh, slow down or, when needed, enhance immune responses. And there's another very important aspect of this, is that is, of course, vaccines. And uh, there have been a lot about the discussion about vaccines, but we also have heard about uh, uh, the bird flu and uh, what well, different name that's got. What, what bearing do the discoveries have on uh, this uh, field? Well, these discoveries, first of all, explain to us how vaccines work. That's tremendously important. They open up for the generation of new types of vaccines, hopefully better vaccines, 
So they have a very close bearing to uh, vaccine um, generation. Could you develop that better vaccines in what aspects? Better vaccines could be vaccines that are stronger. The problem with some of the vaccines today is that they elicit responses but too weak responses. We now have tools to make uh, vaccines uh, eliciting stronger responses uh -huh. so that more people who get vaccinated get protected from the diseases we vaccinate against. There is a debate in, in the Western world at least about the benefits of vaccines. I mean a lot of people are scared these days to, to get their children uh, vaccinated and so on. What do you have for mess what do you have from, what a message do you have for them? Well, it's a very sad and in, in, in a way strange uh, discussion that is going on. Um, vaccines only in the last centuries saved more than 400 million lives. That is more than 10, time as ma 10 times as many people as died in any war during the 20th century. To me, this is striking information. Certainly, vaccines have done so much good for humanity, so much better than it has done bad things. Okay. Uh, what do you think personally is the most exciting uh, thing about this, uh, those discoveries that got the prize today? But they tell us how we can make vaccines better. They provide tools for us to make new drugs uh, to uh, be able to modulate the immune responses in various disease settings where immune action is working or not working. Another scare, of course, is the resistance to antibiotics. Uh, will these discoveries help in any way to develop more, smarter antibiotics? Uh, maybe not directly, but indirectly I think they will do. It's of course uh, important for us to understand how our immune system works. It has the, present the present discoveries perhaps have greater uh, impact for vaccine development than antibiotics per se. Let's turn for a second for another big uh, disease that we are all, all scared of, cancer. Uh, what, uh, how do this immune system work against or with cancer? Well, the immune system has the capacity to recognize certain types of cancer. Mm -hmm. Our hope is, of course, that we, in situations where patients have cancer, should be able to enhance, to create new drugs that would enhance the immune response in such a way that uh, immune cells would attack cancers. But cancers are difficult to handle because they also have their own ways to evade immune recognition. So it's really a battle going on in our bodies. Yeah, cancer changed all the time and the immune system is trying to uh, develop to, to get to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and this is the struggle we have to work with. It is a, a common misunderstanding because people, lay people, who usually talk about medicine and say, hey, we can go to the moon, but you, you can't cure cancer. Is, is, how difficult can it be? It's certainly very difficult. Uh, relatively speaking, it was probably quite easy to go to the moon. Um, we still don't know how to cure all cancers, but we have become better and we are becoming better and better for every year. How these three gentlemen, uh, they're all gentlemen of course, they have uh, sort of found the two lines of defense as you said earlier in our, in our body systems. Have they collaborated in this? Have they met in conferences or have they done their work separately? I'm absolutely convinced that all of them have met at conferences at uh, several different occasions. But they have been working on three different uh, research lines. They have not been colleagues to the best of my knowledge, the colleagues in the sense of working together. Schill Hoffman had a long interest in the immune response of fruit flies to infectious agents. Um, Bruce Beutler had an interest in uh, studying how mice defend themselves against certain types of bacteria. And Ralph Steinman had an interest in the dendritic cells he discovered and really worked out how they work Okay, if you uh, now finally would have a wish, if you'll meet her again like 10 years from now, what new discoveries have been made in this field? Certainly new and better vaccines uh, is um, a hope for the future and I think we will be there.